there. So in this video, I'm going to make this mailbox and it's actually for a wedding and it's just to put the mail in that the couple will receive and I actually made it that like in a way that you can actually open and close it securely so if you like pick it up in some kind of weird way that sometimes can happen it won't fall out because it's shut and this is actually glued on it this part is not able to open you could make it open both ways but like honestly a mailbox just does not open both ways so yeah so this opens and then it will sit like this on the table here's just the names and the date and then it will sit like this on the table the guests can just put their mail in and actually this is secured in a way that you can actually move it so at the wedding it will probably just sit like this in this video I'm also going to include a gift idea that you could give to the couple if you want to pay them their honeymoon and you just want to like give them something special and not like here are two tickets have fun like something a little bit cuter I guess I did a little suitcase and I put in like the this like the travel books I don't know if it's what it's called I just know the German name so like basically you can just look up places to go and whatever and there's also a map of the country or the city that you're gifting the trip to. Was that a real sentence? I don't even know. So to make the gift a little bit cuter, I did the suitcase and it's not like a tutorial. I'm not going to just talk over it. It's just like showing what I put in the suitcase that I made. and. The suitcase is actually on YouTube, like the tutorial for the suitcase is on YouTube and I will link it down below so you can go watch that if you want to see how to make the suitcase step by step and I think the tutorial is actually in German so you're not, you're probably not going to understand it if you don't understand German but it's really easy to follow just by watching what she's doing in my opinion so I think everyone would be able to recreate it and just make the little suitcase so I hope you enjoy the video and I hope to see you in my next one bye so first thing you want to do is think about how big you want your mailbox to be so mine at the bottom is 14 centimeters wide and I think 35 centimeters long if I'm not mistaken but you can do you can actually do the size however you want you just have to think about like how big you want it to actually be so mine is quite big and quite long So after that you want to cut everything out. You also want to leave like a centimeter for applying the glue. So that's what I'm folding over right now. Also, before gluing everything together, you want to make sure that you like bend it how you would glue it and see if it's how you like or if you want to change something up because that's the point where you would like to make changes because after you glued everything together, 
you can't really change anything. Here I was trying to sketch the names on and I was just not getting it right but I ended up getting it how I wanted and I left two centimeters off of each side so if you don't leave the two centimeters on each side you will cover the letters when you put the front and the back piece on and you really don't want to do that I did the writing in copper and it was getting quite dark that's why the lighting changes quite a bit because I just continued the next day I'm just cutting out two pieces and I actually measured them too long because I measured all the way around the opening but you just need to measure around the top part I decided to make it I think a centimeter and a half and then you also want to leave an extra centimeter to glue again. You also want to make a bunch of cuttings on the side that is going to get the glue on because otherwise you're not going to be able to like glue it around the bend part. I'm really bad at explaining so I hope you can follow by watching the video. <laughs> just cutting out that shape to be a little bit smaller than the actual lid just to make it look a little bit smoother on the inside and not have these glued parts visible. So for the back side I glued it on completely so that you can't open it and for the front side I just glued the bottom part to the bottom of the mailbox so that you can open the front. Here I'm just 
trying to see how long the piece of paper has to be to make sure that you can actually close the front part and the first piece I cut out was a little bit too short so I just cut it out a little bit longer chose to decorate it with this kind of vine ribbon because it fits the decoration on the wedding but you can decorate it however you want really there's no right or wrong just have fun with it. 